morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you're listening in from. This is Myrna Loy of Black Bright News. And today's video is about they're enticing them away from the black countries, inviting them here to the white countries. And why is that? Now, a long time ago, I was going out with this man and every time we went out, he'd be looking at a white woman. And I used to get so mad. I thought it was so disrespectful and the two of them were there kicky kicky and laughing and everything. And I went home and I wrote this poem. Now, the poem won't, um, the poem is, um, was written from the heart and the reason why I'm saying this poem is because it reminded me of something I heard this morning about, you know, people, the young black men being enticed from black countries to come to Europe and England and America and Canada. Um, yeah, so I'll tell you the poem first and then I'll tell you a little bit about why the connection afterwards. You blonde and blue-eyed beauties are so ruthless in your attack on our vulnerable black men. Time and time again, you know and understand it is your pre-arranged plan that when they speak so innocently, absorbed in your seductory, you have one aim, which is to appear to tame the inherent racism of your kind. But you will find that he's not blind. He'll overrule your ploy of manipulation of a situation where sexually you have control. It is your ploy to try and play my man away? Leave him alone. Slavery days are done and the myth of white supremacy has already gone. Leave him alone to be free, to pursue his destiny, which is with me. Too long have you tried with your insidious lies to break up the homes of our loving black men. This love that never seemed strong enough to survive is now trying hard to strive for sustenance and maintenance of life. You insidious bigoter, leave us alone forever. Leave us alone so that we can live and love and be ourselves together forever as one. We are black people alone. We do not need the favour of your wiles to beguile the purity of mind. This may seem unkind to you, but to me, all I see is my black man being taken away from me on some unconscious slavery ride. You, you unconsciously side with the, uh, with the, uh, the, the oppressor. I know your capabilities as a seducer because I too am a, a woman, a good one, a black one. And that's why you must kiss him and say goodbye. Kiss and be free. Leave him to me his woman, his right, his life, his light. So yeah, I wrote that poem so many years ago, I don't know how I remembered it, but yes, I did. And the reason why I brought up that poem is because I was listening to um, a doctor on, the, on YouTube and she was saying how um, the government and are uh, enticing young black men to leave countries like Africa and the Caribbean to come to the UK, um, whether it's UK, USA, um, Canada, to pursue entertainment, sports and um, white women and to put it on a plate. But what th what they were saying is that what they, these young boys don't realise is that by leaving their homes and coming away and dealing in this kind of society that has been um, set up for them to entice them and make them feel important. Um, it's taking away their rich resources from the country they came. And then you'll find that white people are going in, building up the country while the black people are leaving their beautiful country and coming to a place where they're going to be misused and mistreated. Um, as we all know, we've got about, I think it's about 11, um, 8, 15 out of 22, I think Africans um, won the World Cup for France. In Britain, although we didn't win, we had, I think, eight out of 11 Caribbeans 
and I think one was half Nigerian um, for England. And what that does for young people in Africa and the Caribbean, it, it's waving a carrot and it's making them think, oh yeah, I can do that. I can go to England and be a great football star. I can be, go to England and be a great singer. I can go to England and, and be a film actor. Or, you know, I can do this and I can do that. Instead of investing those talents in the country that they're in, they're leaving those countries and making way for somebody to take over and invade it. I've heard that, um, I know the Chinese have taken over a large part of Jamaica and they snuck in so, so surreptitiously that, you know, they didn't even realise that so many were there. And this, they're doing the same in Africa. I forget how many they said um, have invested in Africa. So you've got to be careful, guys. Be loyal to your country. Be loyal where you come from. They were, it was different when um, people were naive, like in my mother's generation. They came over for Windrush. They came over. They thought the streets were paved with gold. So they came over here to build up the country. And um, so that what they thought was to um, have a better future for themselves. I know my mother, she ended up getting her own home and she's mortgage free and all that kind of stuff, but it didn't come without a price. The amount of abuse and degrading environment she had to, to do to survive in order to reach where she is now. And now an old lady, you know, can she really enjoy the fruits of her labor? I am not quite sure about that. So, Whatever you can do outside your country, you can do it inside your country. Yes, the exposure is good. Once you've made it inside your country, you can go out and demonstrate outside your country how good you are. And if they want, if they want you, they'll come to that country and they'll watch you because people love sports. And they'll watch you and they'll invest in your country. But when you're taking yourself and your family out of that country, to a country where you cannot invest in and that's going to treat you like crap, it doesn't make much sense to me. And so for all of you young guys who think, yeah, it's great over here, I'm going to get with a little white woman, I'm going to breed some babies and I'm going to dilute my gene pool and, you know, we're going to get rid of the black race. You're just helping, um, you're just helping the enemy along. So that is all I've got to say short and sweet or maybe not so short and maybe not so sweet but this is Myrna Loy signing out for Black Bright News.